hello guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute since i vlogged but i thought i would start with a fresh vlog spring semester of my junior year which is starting this week it's monday but i don't have any classes or clinical or anything today so i just went to the gym that's why i look like this but i have peds this semester med surge and then i also have like a geriatric care class but that class doesn't have a clinical so um two clinicals and three classes technically but yeah i thought i'd bring you guys along with me for my week tuesdays i have an eight hour clinical for peds um and wednesdays i'm free so monday and wednesdays i'm off and thursday i have two lectures which is like 8 30 to 11 15 and then like one to four or something like that and then Fridays, I have an eight hour clinical again. So that'll be super fun. I'm gonna show you guys all of my week and everything I'm doing. I just got out of the gym, picked up my prescription, and then I think I'm gonna have to get gas because I'm about on E. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe and like. simulation today it's tuesday february 1st and today is a respiratory distress simulation which is going to be interesting because i see that at my work all the time unfortunately but i feel like i know like kind of what to look for and like how to treat it so that'll be fun i have to leave in about i want to say about an hour so I've been studying, I have um, a PEDS exam next week already, so I'm working on that right now. So far it's like, just like, kind of like basics, like, just like pediatric nursing, like what we do, and then um, culture, hospitalization of a child, and child abuse. So I'm just kind of looking into that. And I'll be leaving shortly. Alright, hey guys. So I'm back from simulation. I just left and I think I went pretty well. Um, I don't know my score yet, but I know like I missed a couple things, like small, minimal things. Um, that we like talked about as a group that we all kind of missed which is fine that's kind of the whole point of simulation is to kind of mess up while you're on a fake patient instead of a real patient so <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna go home i'm going to have dinner and kind of probably relax for a while because simulations make me super tired like sim, sim and clinical make me exhausted i just feel like i have so many thoughts and i'm like using so much brain power by the end of it i'm just like dead so i'm probably gonna relax i might not even open my laptop again tonight because i'm just kind of over it but yeah i'm gonna keep driving home and i'll update you guys later hey guys so i've been home for a little while and i've just been doing some homework and reading my textbook and stuff but i decided to start a new book and it's called The House of God by Samuel Shim. I don't even know much about it, but I saw it at the bookstore and I thought it looked interesting. It's about um, doctors in their first year of residency, it looks like. It's kind of interesting to me. It gives me like Grey's Anatomy vibes. And normally I don't read during school, but I've been reading a lot like over break and I'm trying to keep it up because it's kind of stress relieving for me. So I'm gonna try to read this. It's actually pretty long. Let me see. Oh, it's only about it's about 400 pages. 
So I'm not gonna like give myself a time limit to read this like I normally do with books because I'm kind of crazy. But I'm just gonna probably try to read it like whenever I get a chance and not stress myself out. So yeah, that's that and I'll update you guys on how good it is once I finish it, which will probably be in a long time, but yeah. Good morning guys, so it is Wednesday now and I'm studying for my peace exam. Um, I'm supposed to have class tomorrow but it's supposed to um, snow and be really icy like tonight and then in the morning. And I have peds and med surge both tomorrow, so I might have a snow day, but we'll see. Um, I read that book last night for a few hours, I got to like 70 pages in or something. And I really like it, it's really interesting, it's um, kind of like different than what I thought it was going to be. It's not really like the same as Grey's Anatomy like I was like kind of thinking, but I really like it and I'll update you guys when I read more. But yeah, for now I'm going to study some more, finish my coffee, and then I'll probably just relax for the rest of the day. Hey guys, so it is Thursday, February 3rd now, and I had a snow day today. Um, I was supposed to have two lectures for med surge and peds, but they were cancelled. And so I did like online lectures, um, I like watched the recordings, took notes, did practice questions, read the textbook, all the fun stuff, and I just kind of um, did that all day. And so I'm finally relaxing a little bit, I'm watching some vlogs, um, some nursing school vlogs actually. Um, and I've been reading this book some more, I'm like almost 200 pages in. And my thoughts are kind of changing from my last clip. I don't really love this book that much. It's um, kind of boring me a little bit. Um, I like like the medical terminology and the fact that they talk about like diagnoses and like treatments and stuff for them because it's like kind of fun to like read about that because I like know about that now. Um, but I don't really care. Like the plot is kind of all over the place. And they're kind of degrading to the nurses in the book, but it's fine. Um, it's kind of an old book, actually. It was written in 1978, which I was not aware of when I started it. Um, so that might be why some of it's kind of iffy for me. But yeah, I will try to finish reading it. Um, I hate reading a book and then not finishing it. Um, so I'm going to finish it, even though I don't really want to. But I will let you guys know if I ended up liking it or not. Um... I actually have another study tomorrow. I was supposed to have clinical tomorrow, but it was canceled because my campus closed again. Um, so I'm going to try to read a lot of it tomorrow and hopefully finish it. I have about 160 pages left. Um, so I'm probably going to do that all day tomorrow and I will update you guys then. <laughs> Don't mind my towel, I just took a shower, but I've been very lazy today, it was another snow day, like I said. Um, so I did a lecture this morning, took notes, and then I pretty much worked on like assignments, upcoming assignments, and I got really ahead, which is nice. So, other than that, I didn't really do anything. I had pizza for dinner, and I'm about to watch some TV for a while before I go to bed, because I work tomorrow and Sunday and Monday because it's my weekend and I'm the only PCA tomorrow which kind of stinks but the other girl has COVID so it's not her fault but I will probably vlog some more tomorrow um I can't really vlog much at work but I will show you guys as much as I can so yeah I hope you guys are having a good day today so I also just want to show you guys my new room I moved in with my dad and my stepmom like officially permanently um I previously was going back and forth from my mom's to my dad's like every week or every other week but this semester I decided to just move in full-time over here just to kind of like stop doing that since I'm 20 years old and that's kind of a lot um and I got a new room over here because they remodeled upstairs and so I got the bigger bedroom and I want to share with you guys what it looks like because I've been working really hard on it so okay here's kind of what you see when you walk in it's not super clean right now and put together but this is kind of just like what it's looking like as of right now
So down here I have a little record holder. Up here I got this cute little thing from Hobby Lobby, which I know it's like super high and I need to <laughs> bring it down, but there was already a hook there so I just hung it there and I haven't moved it yet. And then I have my purse, my robe, this little thing. My mom actually made this for me. It's, um, I don't know, this like ribbon or something. But yeah, on the little hoop. And then down here I have... I put all my headbands for work and my claw clips in here because I kind of have <laughs> way too many. Also some like wearable headbands like for outfits and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of bad that I have to have a whole thing for these. But anyways, that is that. And then I have a little rug down here. And then my bed. The bed frame is from a family member, so I don't have no idea where it's from, but I really like it. Um, this pillow is from Target. This was from my stepmom. I don't know where it's from. That one's from Target. Actually, all this was from Target. <laughs> the, um, little blanket was from Target. The quilt bedspread was from Target, too. I actually really like it because it has this, like, circular design. And then the bed pillows also are from there, and so are the sheets. <laughs> I should just say everything from Target. Um, and then I have a few of my favorite records up here. Um, Fleetwood Mac. Miley Cyrus, Fleetwood Mac, Kendrick Lamar, Greta Van Fleet, and the Beastie Boys, which is kind of funny. But I got those little acrylic shelves from Amazon. And then over here is my dresser. I don't know where it's from. I've had it for a while. I have my diffuser, a little decoration, and this little bowl I got from a vintage store with just some like little everyday stuff in there. And then I have my bas laundry basket, my skincare fridge I don't have room for on top of my dresser. Um, a little study pillow, my mirror, which is from Home Goods, and I really love it. And then here's what the little shelves look like. They're super easy to put up. I just use command hooks. And then over here is my desk. My desk is from Home Goods, and then this is a vintage chair. I got at the thrift store. This is a vintage mirror. I got the desk at TJ Maxx the candle and then I got this cute little makeup brush holder from my stepmom's mom <laughs> I don't know where it's from but and then I got this little makeup organizer from TJ Maxx too and then all of this stuff up here is well these four things are vintage and then a little calendar and then my mom painted that for me and then I have some vintage music over here and then a picture of my brother and I and my friend Bella and then over here I have my slippers, and then this little like cube thing, my record player, diffuser, some decorations, a little jewelry holder, and then I have another little bowl that has more jewelry in it and like hair stuff. And then these are from Hobby Lobby too. I just like how they're like striped plants. And then this little cable is from Target too. I have my book I'm reading. This is from an antique store. My lamp is actually from Walmart. I really like it. Um, more vintage glass. Can you tell I like glass? <laughs> and then down here I have like some of my favorite books and Kindle. And then I don't know where this is from. It's from Christmas. But yeah, and then I have my um, ukulele down there that I don't play. Okay, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to share some of my favorite books. Um, I know this is very random, but I love reading. I read a lot. And I never really talk about the books I read because I don't have many friends that um, are super into reading like I am. Um, and I watch a lot of like booktube and I watch a lot of reviews and a lot of like reading vlogs and stuff. Um, so I'm going to share five of my favorite books. These aren't even like my five favorite books. But I don't have all my books with me right now. Some of them are with my mom at her house. Um, I'm kind of just leaving like half of my books there because I don't really have like room for many more as you guys could probably tell. Um, so I'm leaving them there until I move out eventually and get my own place and hopefully I can get like a big bookshelf and have like a book corner and everything. But for now, half of them are there, half of them are here. So I've gathered my five favorite of the ones I have here and these are them. So I'm going to go through them and talk about them and hopefully you guys can get inspired to read more. Or read these books um, because like I said I love these books so the first one is reminders of him by Colin Hoover and this is a new book this literally just came out like this no January so last month 
Um, basically, if you've never read Colleen Hoover, What Are You Doing? Um, she pretty much got popular on book talk. I've never even, like, heard of her before, but I've read, like, almost all of her books, mostly on my Kindle. And this, this one and Ugly Love are the only ones I actually have the physical copies to. Um, but basically, this book is about a young girl named Kenna who has been in prison for, like, five years. And she had a daughter while she was in prison who she lost custody of and hasn't been able to see since. And once she gets out of prison, she goes and finds um, where her daughter lives, and she ends up moving there. Um, and she meets the guy who's been helping take care of her since she was born, and basically she kind of gets connected to him in order to get connected with her daughter again. And it sounds like not that interesting, but it was so good, and it made me cry. Um, I just finished it a couple of days ago, and it has become one of my favorites. It was just so good. It was amazing. And Colleen Hoover is a genius. And you guys have to read this. Okay, so next I have City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. This book is about a girl named Vivian who is in college. It's the 1940s. And basically she's not doing very well in college. And she gets sent to live with her Aunt Peg in New York. And her Aunt Peg owns a theater who, which isn't doing so well. Um, there's not many fans of this theater. It's kind of run down. There's a lot of interesting people that live there and work there. And so she ends up meeting a guy. They fall in love. You get the gist. I don't want to spoil anything. But yes, I really like this, mostly because of the setting. Um, New York in the 1940s is just interesting, and it was amazing. I love, like, time period books when they're set, like, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, so on. I just think they're fun and I like reading about them so yeah I definitely recommend this okay so the next book I have is Night Film by Maris Marisha Pessel and this book is huge it's almost 600 pages I believe which I don't normally read books that long and it took me a while to get through this I actually read this back in high school and it's a good one it's a thriller if you guys are interested in that it's basically about this girl who is found murdered and her dad is a famous um, director and he directs like kind of scary movies just like weird like horror films and he hasn't been seen in like 30 plus years so there's kind of a twist in it and again I don't want to share too much but the inside has these cool like let me show you like news articles and things it's very different than anything I've really read before. It is um, very interesting to say the least. But yeah, if you guys are into like thriller, very dark thriller, definitely read this. Okay, so if you're into reading, you probably know all about this book and you've probably read this book. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, basically it's about this reporter who is writing about Evelyn Hugo, who is a famous woman in the 50s, mostly the 50s, but it's kind of throughout her whole life. And she essentially has been married to seven husbands and it goes through and it talks about each of the husbands, different time periods of her life. Um, but all along she has been in love with one person who we figure out in the end who that is. And it's incredible, it's so good, I read it twice now. I love it so much. And again, it's a period, time period piece, and so I like it. Okay, so this is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson, and this is my favorite book of all time. I've read this book three times now. I absolutely love it so much. I've recommended it to so many people. I've let people borrow this copy a million times, like people I've worked with, my friends, um, and everybody who has read it absolutely loved it. Loved it. Um, I worked with a girl recently who read this book and she told her sister to read the book and so her sister loved it so much she started a book club with her and her friends and I guess all of them read it and that made me smile because it's just so sweet like thinking that I just randomly stumbled upon this book at the bookstore and I thought it looked interesting and I read it and now like because of that like 50 plus people have read this book <laughs> um but yeah it's about this woman and this man who meet in an airport and they get to talking and the man kind of is pouring his emotions out to the woman telling him about his husband or her I can't talk 
telling her about his wife and how he's kind of fed up with her um, and he wants to kill her, making a joke. And she's like, well, why don't you do it? And so the whole book kind of talks about their plan to kill his wife. And there's a twist in the middle. I don't want to say anything else, but it's so good. The ending is so good. It literally will leave you speechless the first time you read this. You're just like... So yeah, I love this book so much. I recommend it to everyone who likes thrillers. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this vlog here. It's already like 20 minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little room tour and my books and everything. Um, I just thought I would add in some extra stuff for fun. Um, but yeah, I feel like filming tomorrow and like at work this weekend won't be too interesting because I can't really show anything. So yeah, I'm going to end this here and I'm going to hopefully make some more vlogs this semester. I'm kind of bad about that. Um, once the semester gets, like, really going, because right now it's still only, like, week three. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked this vlog, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and please leave a comment if you want. I love reading them. It's, um, really fun to read them. So, yeah, see you guys in my next one. Bye!